Hey guys, a new Loy skin has just been released, so I wanted to showcase it to you all. But little did I know that this will become one of the most insane Loy's game I have ever played, and I'm being 100% honest. I will highly recommend watching it till the end. In this one, we are missing a jungler, but it seemed like neither S4 and S5 play the jungler role. So we had no choice but to use Johead as the jungler. I thought maybe Johead could try to steal the red first, that would give us a nice early game advantage. Smash them. All troops deployed. Initiate retreat. But it seems like they're expecting us. There's no way Luo Yi can win against Valir at level 1, just gotta retreat and wait until level 2. Remember to always keep the first and second skill in different colors. Totally under my control. Just harassing Valir so he cannot gain the other lanes. That will give a lot of space for the side laners. Since Johead is also in the top lane, this is the perfect chance to gank top. At level 1, the range of her ult is pretty short, so might as well use it at the base while I'm healing, just to save a little bit of time. Harley will probably use his dash, so I will wait for him to use it first before casting my skill. Well, maybe next time. Since we managed to kill their bottom laner, we gotta take advantage of this and gain as much extra gold from the turret, and it seems like the enemies were all busy in the other lanes. Time to go back to my lane and harass their support once again. If you keep harassing their support like this, you'll be able to keep ganking around while the support will be forced to go back to heal. These little things will help you gain a huge advantage over your adversary, and you'll be able to see that throughout this gameplay. I totally forgot that he was my maniac, I should have definitely used Flicker and killed him as well. Sad face. You are totally under
everyone has the right to embrace their true self. Although we are doing quite decently, you will see that our marksman is quite inexperienced, so this game is far from over. It was at this moment. What a golly Silvana, she came to my rescue. The problem with our current game plan is that we are all grouped together and the enemies are using this opportunity to split push instead. I think I should have defended the middle lane while our fighters should be split pushing the bottom lane. Ruby probably thought that Silvana was dead already by Harley's ult, so she is going straight for me. Never bothers me. They are pretty good at split pushing. Our marksman kept getting picked off. The longer the game lasts, the less likely we can win the game.
Since I'm doing most of the damage, I thought I should might as well take the blue buff. But Cho was pushing the top lane. I didn't have enough time to take the blue. I had to defend the turret first. Welp, I guess somebody panicked. XD. Oof. Cho is split pushing top, gotta go back to defend. And this is the moment when the enemies are going to start making the most epic comeback. You can see that Cho would rather focus me first than the marksman. That's extremely disturbing. But I felt that something was really odd about this team fight. I mean, at this point, Mia's basic attack should be completely wrecking the enemies. But then everything made sense. She didn't build Berserker Fury and even bought Has Claw instead of Demon Hunter's sword. Now I understand why she would rather kill me first than the marksman. Unfortunately, she wasn't really listening to my advice.
never look back if you have nothing to regret. Joe is coming from behind. Gotta protect our marksman. We killed three of them. I will try to stop Ruby from teleporting. Mia shall go with the team and destroy their base. Unfortunately, she went for the kill instead. But it's okay, if we can get the Lord, we have a very high chance of ending the game with the next push. And that's it for today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you found it entertaining, consider leaving a like and subscribing, thanks. Victor!